Hello ladies and gents, welcome to a new Night Point of View review. For the first time we have the MG brand on test and in front of us is the new MG HS second generation. Now here's the key. If I unlock the car, you can see the uh, beautiful uh, matrix LED headlights. We're gonna check out the performance uh, outside the city in this video. Now uh, this is the luxury trim. There's a standard trim. Uh, I've mentioned this in the review, small difference. Uh, both come uh, very well equipped. This has a uh, few extra options. We're sitting on 19 inch alloys. These look very nice. You can see the profile of the car. For some reason, when you unlock the car, the rear taillights don't come on. Uh, they come on when you uh, turn on the car. Um, inside is the 1.5 liter a four cylinder turbocharged petrol engine producing 170 horsepower linked to seven speed automatic front wheel drive. Now, if I open the rear, uh, we have 507 liters of cargo space or 1,484. Now there is old LED light here that illuminates. I hope you can see that better on the new Insta360 Ace Pro camera I'm using that has a larger sensor. For some reason, this is off. I showed it in the night review. It was on when the car is on, but when you unlock the car, it's off for some reason. Yeah, those are some of the de details I've noticed. Um, <clears throat> let's jump in. Now, I'm gonna keep the key in my pocket. Now, you're here for the fuel consumption, and I did the test. Uh, I already revealed it in the uh, night review of this car. But in case you didn't watch that, uh, I will soon uh, mention the fuel consumption. Now, start the car. And we're greeted uh, with um, a little animation. Now, this is the home screen and you have all the icons here you saw in the review. Now, um, I actually do have a USB-C cable in my uh, backpack but I didn't bring it because we're not going to focus on Apple CarPlay you can see it right here it has both uh, Apple and Android connection but we're going to use the embedded navigation uh, let's show you some music and uh, eight speakers sound system is pretty solid sorry it's a little loud I'm going to mute that let me just get into the uh, different station now different. Yeah, I gotta mute that not to get a copyright right you know the uh, deal now uh, it's kind of weird uh, I haven't went this detail into um, of the uh, sound settings but you do get the sound settings but it's there is no shortcut here you have to go to the music then it goes off the radio and then here you can choose what kind of audio you want you can go to the custom presets you can manually but I've left it on automatic so when you go back to home screen and you want to go back to radio um, again home screen or button here uh, you have to like swipe down and then you go back to the radio and then you can listen to the music Okay, we have that um, Switching to navigation Navigation is actually quite solid. It also uh, tells you when you're close to speeding cameras when you're in school zones and so on uh, I have a um, Speed limit here. You can have it in here as well uh, and before we head out, I don't want to do this while driving. Uh, there is no shortcut for this. But actually, you have the favorites here for the car menu and then uh, MG Pilot. Now, new European regulations mandate that you have to um, warn the driver about speed limit change and driver dis the distraction monitor. If you just watch the radio a little bit, it's going to pop a message here that you're distracted. I'm going to disable that also because I have a camera on my face um, and this as well because it's gonna just keep popping those messages um, 
and let's see here um, not that okay so over speed warning and speed limit change audible warning so all of these off so we won't get that uh, annoying messages and cluster um, we have here minimize so we can r remove those on the side here you see those are gone so we can have full navigation right here and that's a beautiful display and then you can have this one this one looks like uh, Tesla's autopilot FSD visualization where it chooses the lanes um, I'm gonna keep this one uh, off so I do have those uh, on the side and I will stick to the default speedo because I like it but you can change three of these uh, there and also another uh, thing there are fog lights here they're LED for the front and rear which we don't need at the moment uh, put up to drive I'm just gonna show you reverse before we head out uh, you can spec if you want both mirrors or just the right mirror to dip and you can see here the distance in centimeters we have excellent resolution cameras um, uh, even if I can go slightly backwards see it is very precise and you can hear the beeps okay heading out uh, you can see the projections now even when you use a turn signal uh, the cameras will uh, pop a message excuse me not pop a message they'll just put a pop screen uh, show you a blind spot but I think you need to be uh, you need to pass a certain a certain excuse me uh, threshold uh, with the speed for that now <clears throat> I don't know where to start uh, besides saying uh, I do have a water bottle that just slided there so let me just uh, reach it here I'm just gonna put it in the water bottle area here in the cup holder so it doesn't slide and create noise so when mistaken those noise for maybe car noises that are not there okay perfect uh, we have auto hold you need to press the brake deep you get this spark symbol there and then car holds and then you just press the gas uh, car continues now I've been a little bit uh, hesitant so this guy used uh, the opportunity he took off before me so he wasn't really taking my right of pass now um, uh, where to start well let's start about the, with comfort there's speed bumps here so uh, 19 inch alloys good for looks and the suspension is nice and soft so I would say uh, very good suspension very comfortable uh, speed bump like this one you feel it a little bit harder uh, but generally very nice and comfy suspension uh, the car when you go a bit harder into the bends doesn't lean too much it feels very stable um, so very good uh, impressions you can change the steering wheel uh, resistance I left it and the like standard it could be like soft or hard or instead of hard it's called sport um, but I like the way it is in the default setting now uh, automatic seven speed automatic is great you can get a manual but uh, the automatic is really nice and smooth in transitions um, just I have no complaints whatsoever and uh, petrol engine again four cylinder turbocharged petrol 170 horsepower um, that's the only engine you can get 1.5 liter and it's great uh, 170 horsepower for this SUV it's not super heavy feels just about right uh, for your daily driving uh, for the highway um, now I've uh, just realized I didn't use the sport mode in my day point of view driving so when we get to the highway I'm gonna kick into the uh, sport this area is of course if you have cameras which we do have in this car is always kind of a blind spot for those traffic lights but hey um, 
it's not that bad. I've seen cars that have lower windshield and then this is creating such a huge blind spot on the whole right side. Uh, in this case, that's not uh, the issue. Um, we also have this nice, just simple tab, three uh, blinks, sorry, three turn signals, uh, very nice. Now, you can drive this car very gently uh, and you will have uh, great fuel consumption. Now, let me just press here. So you can see we're currently at 6.1. I was uh, filming something before I started, so it's kind of idling, but my lowest fuel consumption was 5.5. It went towards 5.2 when you're going slightly downhill, uh, but you're gonna see on this test ride uh, that the fuel consumption, if you're driving gently between 60 and 80, could be 5.5 uh, without any uh, sweat. Again, gentle acceleration. It really depends on the driver. But if you're accelerating a bit faster, if you are in traffic, you're gonna get easily nine uh, liters out of this car. Although you can see the odometer here, 1,082 kilometers. So this is a fresh new car. Um, I actually just passed it 1,000 kilometers uh, when I have it on test. And, you know, usually cars just take at least 1,000 kilometers to break in a little bit. Um, so the fuel consumption might be higher in the first 1,000 kilometers. But I think even in the modern cars, that's just not the case. That's something I'm just used to saying. Um, but generally, the new cars shouldn't be uh, much of a difference. Uh, but again, if we take that rule, like at least 1,000 kilometers uh, for the engine to work out, break in, um, there you go, this car just passed that, so uh, that is realistic fuel consumption we are having. Uh, you can see here on the digital cockpit, the left side, there's like lanes and the car recognizes other cars. Um, I've, oh, I have this in my Tesla, it's faster, way faster, but this, this is very similar, it's not that fast in recognizing cars, it's like a little bit late. But still, it has it, and it's a nice feature. So um, it's something I I greet uh, with a favor as a yes, uh, please. I like that. Now you can see here the tire pressure. Um, it's kind of fluctuating. I haven't checked it to be honest. You can have a radio shortcut or um, route guidance. I am going to add right. Uh, route guidance later but anyways uh, I love the animations uh, of the digital cockpit I love the navigation is actually very nice as well um, you can see the speed uh, speed limit here at the bottom and overall uh, I was just really impressed uh, I've been driven in the HS first generation I forgot it was the facelift or um, a different or the, or the original, excuse me. Um, but um, I didn't drive it, so I can't tell you, but I've talked with some journalists who did, and they told me that uh, this car is much more improved and it feels more solid. Now, um, I've tested this one, and I can tell you that all around, this is a excellent SUV and uh, i really get it that mg I've, I've seen a lot of mgs in croatia by the way and they've attracted a lot of customers new customers and having in mind yes this is a uh, uk brand uh, but it was bought by chinese a while back but you know they've proven themselves um, and people are buying mgs so I don't see any prejudices to be honest, but they're very competitive in price wise. Although this one, um, here in Croatia, it starts uh, for the very entry trim with a manual. Again, same engine, just a manual transmission and a few less options like the 360 camera we have in this car or the eight speaker system. There's like six to less speakers. Um, yeah, uh, starts at 31 excuse me, yeah, 31,490 euros. Uh, for 2,000 euros more, you can get either the automatic or you can go to the uh, higher trim, this one with a manual. 
but for this one it is a bit pricier it is 36 490 uh, if you want to get this car now uh, I think you know uh, some of you are gonna say you know the price was lower for the uh, first generation facelift yes but once they've you know uh, clear their uh, inventory I think they might drop in 2025 this price uh, a bit lower so uh, stay tuned for that uh, if you're not you know uh, trigger happy to get the new second generation right away if you're patient you can get it uh, maybe slightly uh, at a better deal I went through some manholes again soft suspension a very nice feeling uh, not too hard interior uh, feels very nice and posh especially with this uh, kind of beige seats or brown really not I don't I think this is more like a beige seat uh, color very comfortable seats as well see I'm going into the bend faster just car feels nice and stable no leaning no slipping on the back end just feels great and uh, the car is very roomy I love it it doesn't have auto dimming uh, mirrors um, at all that's something I'd like to have and maybe cornering fog lights uh, check the uh, LED headlights performance now they're on automatic it looks great and I'm gonna kick it into sport soon just uh, okay I'm sport actually wait oh to the side I'm in sport right now oh the car feels alive even better than the D Exploring it all the way, by the way. Yeah, I was slightly going uphill, if you noticed. So it pulls nicely. But we're gonna stick to uh, recommended speed. So we're just gonna let it slow down to 100. So you can hear the soundproof of this car is excellent. And I do have a external mic, road mic, so you should have a better sound. So we are on summer tires. Driving 100. So patch of smooth asphalt right now and a rough one. Rough one and then a smooth. And back to rough. So there's mostly tire noise at 100 kilometers per hour. If I speed up, there's going to be some wind noise. Petrol uh, is also very nice sound. I'm gonna switch back to D. Still pulls nicely. I'm speeding up in D. By the way, uh, the Matrix headlights are on. So the performance in person is great. Can't say that I see difference or uh, that it's creating shadows. Just gonna speed up here. Flooring it all the way again. Okay, that is the long beam, but uh, that wasn't the matrix long beam. No. Okay, it's auto nomadic. Uh, we're getting a light rain. Okay, so that was the matrix, but uh, maybe bad timing because the semi flashed me back. It's on now. So I don't see it creating shadow spots that's odd uh, you can see at it's on automatic there's a little green symbol and a blue one next to it now uh, our fuel consumption hasn't spiked too much yeah I feel, uh, it appears that it's like I don't know uh, just doing yeah it is actually creating a shadow spot but the the line isn't that much I think uh, sharp perhaps what it 
oh, just just blasted with a full beam now. But yeah, I, I, I don't see the transition that fine, but I think it does uh, create shadow spots, perhaps. Maybe not, I don't, I don't see it, honestly. It is a matrix, says in the headlights. I wonder if they're enabled, honestly, because uh, in my Tesla they were not enabled for three years and they released a software update and then you can clearly see the difference when it's creating uh, shadow spots when the matrix capability is on. But in this case, I'm not sure if that's the case. I would say this is not the case. It was just controlling the long beam uh, automatically. So yeah, that's that's that. Um, a little bit disappointed as you are as well. I wanted to see the performance. I always love Matrix headlights. Once again, just great cruising machine as well. Um, this came, I forgot the tires. Summer tires were uh, Bridgestone, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I was on a, another press conference today so just, just watch some other tires so forgive me if I'm mistaken and you can see it in the review but these tires are also very good uh, because the car just when you let go of uh, the gas it just coasts a lot uh, so it has lower rolling resistance tires these help you in fuel consumption and you know uh, that's just good for economy and for your pocket so uh, despite speeding up a little bit our fuel consumption is still around six liters so you know I think that's that's pretty solid that's pretty decent um, something I forgot to engage here but uh, I can show it to you here is the uh, pilot so yeah I'm just gonna stay in this lane um, MG pilot so it has a really good uh, lane assist uh, and uh, adaptive cruise control uh, almost like a Tesla as well it also marks these lanes here in blue like a Tesla so uh, maybe they've been inspired a little bit by uh, Tesla but uh, I don't think that's a bad thing I think it's a good thing um, their MG pilot I'm not gonna call it all autopilot I'm gonna call it as they uh, label it MG pilot works really great you can even see here when I come back, it just uh, keeps you in the center. You can see the blue lane. Uh, it works honestly great. You can, uh, of course, uh, play with the distance. One, uh, two is recommended by law. Um, yeah, so excellent all around SUV. I'm really, really blown away. I mean, there's not much that I can criticized that there's something missing again maybe auto dimming on the side mirrors uh cornering led fog lights those are like few of the things that um i would personally like maybe okay i forgot to mention in this video like ambient lights in the interior would be nice but honestly i'm not missing them i'm i'm kind of okay with this to be honest and yeah another thing perhaps that is missing um is for example uh, auto dimming i've said this uh by myself to if i go to home uh, i've said it to like 50 percent there is no automatic you can like link the two displays so when you move one the other one is the same but there's no automatic setting so the car uh, will not do that for you But otherwise, like besides that, everything else is here and just looks super nice. Steering wheel is, by the way, very nice in the hands. Uh, again, I've mentioned the seats, very comfortable. Okay, another con, I found it, but this is maybe uh, for tall people such as myself. Again, I'm a two meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet. Um, you can control the height of the driver's seat, but uh, it's electronic, but the front passenger seat also electronic, but doesn't have height adjustment. I mean, why would you save money on that? 
and it's kind of setting a little bit high, too high for a tall person. I'm like, I'm touching with my hair at the top. But otherwise, um, yeah, nothing, nothing uh, else to comment. Like the car is really great. Uh, we're gonna do a little launch zero to hundred. I know you want to see that, but um, honestly, it's not that fast. I think it was like eight seconds, almost nine. So I forgot, but we're gonna floor it here. Whoa! That kick's nice. Brakes are good. Let's see if it engages the hazards. Nope. So, would have been a nice feature as well, but not something uh, that's super like important. Maybe in the future they'll just add it as a mandatory by law. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect those tires to uh, spin as much, but it's nice to hear that uh, here and there when you're accelerating. Uh, but actually, that was a really nice. Uh, zero to 100 considering the time uh, again I have a test slide it's like 4.4 seconds so uh, not comparable uh, when it comes to time but for an SUV uh, like a general and commuter really nice and solid uh, you can see the camera here if I speed up it should engage the automatic long beam for some reason it's I engage it manually for some reason it's disengaged the automatic long beam why is it not on now no, I'm just like trying to figure it out why it went off. Oh, that's too bright. Oh, I turned, <laughs> I've turned them off. Uh, yeah, don't drive uh, with your headlights like that. You know, the displays are on, but your headlights are off. It's completely dangerous at night. Um, again, cornering fog lights would be very nice, but good performance altogether. So I figured when you uh, come to a slow speed, it just disengages the automatic beam. When you, when you accelerate, it just decides and turns it on. So watch now. So, just switches them on, see? And just, when you slow down, it switches them off. Okay, uh, let's see the navigation. And Navigate to Avenue Mall, Garage. Sorry, but there seems to be no result for Avenue Mall Garage in the map. Okay, that's slightly disappointing. I thought she didn't hear it correctly, but she did. Okay, I'm just gonna like see here. Wrecking car engines. Uh, maybe just offers me the nearest one. Um, yeah, these are like super close. Let me see on the map. Um, yeah, yeah, here, here, wait. Okay, there it is. Yeah, that's the one. Go, yes, please. Okay, I will switch to navigation here as well. Okay, so you get to where to turn. Now I'm slowing down because there's a speeding camera, new, relatively new. Huh, it's not uh, marked. There were some other cameras that were, and it gives you a nice message there, and it signals you with a chim sound, but not this one. Okay, so maybe this could use an update, perhaps. Automatic uh, wipers as well. So, yeah, all the good stuff. I, I can wrap up the video, I think. Uh, I've spent enough time with this car to tell you that this is an excellent purchase. I mean, you know, should you buy it or shortlist it? Like, you should just buy it. I mean, if you're interested, if you think this is a great car, of course, go uh, do a test ride for yourself. And then if you think uh, this feels very nice and drives nice and it uh, um, has all the 
check boxes uh, checked uh, that you're looking for, then this is the right car or the right SUV for you. So we're coming to our garage and to the end of our journey. So yeah, I mean, uh, even if you feel like uh, this particular model is a bit too pricey for your budget, again, uh, uh, comfort trim is also very well equipped. It looks uh, the same exterior and in, interior for the most part. So uh, that's a great thing uh, because, you know, um, you can choose only the color and everything else is more or less standard. Okay. okay, the back window goes all the way down. That's a uh, very much appreciated uh, feature. Uh, of course, all the windows are fully automatic. They're not double glazed. Uh, only the front windshield is double glazed, but that's kind of a standard uh, already. So let's find a parking spot. Uh, also U-turn. Pretty solid, for, at least for gara garage standards. Um, yeah, uh, good for parking, I would say. Just not too, not too bad. Can switch that one off, and uh, let's uh, let's see here. Uh, you have the 3D buildings as well, and if I go to reverse again, I've set the right mirror to dip. I prefer this one to be up. Um, that, that's just me. You can set them both to dip. Uh, excellent camera. Look at this. I mean, that is freaking amazing. Um, you can switch here. So th these turn on for some reason. They did not uh, pop up during this drive, if I noticed correctly. But they do come up. Um, you can see here uh, all of that. Again, excellent. Um, cameras the resolution is nice and sharp um, and just to show you fuel consumption so 6.4 we did you know speed up a little bit and show you the 0 to 100 so but it would definitely if I didn't do that uh, stay 6 or just start dropping towards 5 like I've mentioned this is like uh, since the car is new uh, someone was driving on the highway obviously a bit faster so it's 10 liters but uh, all together um, excellent I don't think I need to uh, mention anything else of course there's always room for improvement but this is now um, improvement design wise from the first generation but uh, again uh, they've invested so much uh, the engine is not shaking at all especially at lower speeds they've lowered the weight of the engine as well um, the car is excellent excellently soundproofed I can hear now barely, but I can hear uh, they're venting the garage because of the CO2. You're going to hear now when I exit uh, that it's a bit louder outside. So just to do a little walk around in the garage. Had the Brits say garage, not garage, garage or just garage like the Americans say it. Um, yeah, that is that. Uh, if I lock the car, once again, uh, goes off. Uh, but if I unlock it, only the front headlights uh, come on, the rear are off. They only come on when you switch off the ignition. But once again, uh, the, this is a beautiful SUV. I love it. Uh, I'm gonna wrap it here. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, type them in the comment section below. And hope to see you in the next video. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe, click the bell to get notified if you want to see more content like this. See you in the next one. Bye.